You know the great thing about a video devotional is sometimes you just actually have to see the visual to understand it. And I just had something that I just wanted to show you today and I thought the video is the best way to do that. But before I begin with that, can I just say thank you so much for logging in. I really appreciate you and thank you for taking this journey with me. Okay, so part of what I wanted to show you today was this. This is my refuge, my sanctuary, if you will. This long dirt road I have walked on many a time just to get away from a bad day, right? This is where God and I have had a lot of conversations, a lot of discussions on this dirt road when I just needed some time to get away. And so what about you? Do you have a place of refuge, just some place where you can get away, just you and God, to talk and to work through it. You know, a sanctuary from one of those rough days. I have to tell you, this past summer, I think I was starting to wear this dirt road out. It was a rough summer. I had three kids that were under school age, so I was exhausted. And then there was the drought and the intense heat. I think my stress level was at an all time high. So a lot of days when Gabe would come home, I would come out here because I just had to get out. You know what I'm saying? You just have to leave for a little bit. And so I would come out here on this dirt road and I would walk. And it was just me and God working some things out. There's one particular day though that I will never forget. It was an especially rough mommy day. In fact, this may have been the day when the baby found her older sister's dirty underwear on the floor, picked them up, put them in the toilet, and then proceeded to carry them around the bathroom in her mouth. Like I said, it was a rough mommy day. But it always seems like on those especially rough mommy days that certain thoughts start creeping up into my head. You know, just little thoughts like, well, there goes my mommy of the year award, or wow, way to go, mom, that was a really dumb move. Or something like, I just lost it with them again. I'm got to be the worst mother ever. My kids are gonna grow up and hate me, and I'm a worthless mother. I'm a worthless person, right? But you see the spiral, don't you? It always starts with something small. But by the end of the day, it's kind of grown into something big. So on this particular day, right, I was spiraling down pretty fast. And I know Gabe could tell when he came in the house because he told me, you know, hey, why don't you go outside for a walk? Which I'm pretty sure is a code for Woman, you need to go have a talk with God, right? He would never say that, but it was so true. That's what I needed. And so I got out of the house and I came out on this dusty road. And I just started walking. And the only thing I could even think to say was, Lord, help me, right? And so I walked and I walked and I walked and then smelt something and I knew instantly what that something was you see before I was ever a farmer's wife I was a farmer's daughter and my daddy had us in fields chopping weeds all the time so I knew the smell of that weed that was a devil's claw and I looked all around and sure enough I had found the plant and I was really excited because it was late summer and this was the first time that I'd ever actually seen a full grown dried out claw on the plant. So I picked it up, really excited. I couldn't wait to show my girls. I'm kind of nerdy that way. So I found the devil's claw and I tell you this plant, it's so fascinating. If you look at it here, you see this thick part right here in the middle. Well, this is where all the seeds of the plant are kept inside of here. And then this part, the two hooks, 
this is the claw, right? These things, let me tell you, they are sharp. But the whole concept is fascinating because you see, as animals are wandering through a pasture, they'll pick up the scent of the devil's claw plant. And when they go over to investigate, they'll tromp through the plant and the claw will then get stuck around its leg or on its fur. Let me tell you, I've gotten these stuck on my jeans plenty of times and it kind of hurts and they are not easy to get off. But so these get trapped on whatever comes through the pasture and that animal or person will drag these all around. And as it drags it all around, the seeds then are spreading across the pasture. Well, let me tell you, as I was sitting here thinking about this devil's claw and what I was going to tell the girls, I realized something and God just whispered to my heart and he said, Kayla, does the devil have his claw in you? Yes. Yes, Lord, he does. John 8 44 says that the devil is a murderer, that there is no truth in him. And when he lies, he speaks his native language for he is a liar. You see on a rough day, all Satan had to do was to throw little lies at me. A little lie here, a little lie there. It was bait and I was taking it. And once I took the first one, it was a little bit easier to take the second lie and then the third, and so on. And before I knew it, I had the devil's claw stuck to me. Right, Hebrews 12.1 talks about the sin that so easily entangles us. It's like we get stuck in this, isn't it? And I remember just crying out to God and saying, Lord, how do I get out of the devil's claw? How do I, break free of this. It's like I, it's, I can't just shake it off. I need a, I need a sword. You remember a few weeks ago how we talked about the Word of God being alive and active. Well this was one of those moments where the Word of God just moved within me and I immediately thought of the verse in Ephesians that says, put on the helmet of salvation and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Well, that was it. That's what I needed. I needed God's Word and God's truth to break through Satan's lies. It reminds me of a few verses that I found. John 8:32 then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Hebrews 4 2, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. So what about you? Do you have a devil's claw stuck on you today? Are you believing Satan's lies about you or your family? Girl, you need a sword. We need to take the Word of God and His truth and I want to smash this devil's claw into smithereens. We need to build up an arsenal. Will you help me with that today? This week in the comment section, I want you to, to come up with a verse that you find particularly helpful on those rough days. Oh, some of God's truth that you can use as a sword and share that with us. Let's build up our arsenals in God's word and God's truth. And let's get rid of these devil's claws.